Hi everyone, I'm Juan and today we got really exciting news. Our crowdfunding campaign is now live. Follow the link in the description below and visit our crowd supply page. You can order your air lab today. Now, join Joel in our lab. He will give you a quick preview of the new features. Hi, I'm happy to highlight the recent changes to the air lab. We added debug and extension port on the back, added an atmospheric pressure sensor and updated the PCB construction. With the debug port, you can connect your programmer for low-level firmware development in addition to the main USB-C interface. At the extension port, we exposed the system voltages, the internal I2C bus and two unused GPIOs. Use them to attach other sensors and components. We redesigned the PCB construction to use a metal bracket for holding the screen and battery. We also added a connector to the flex cable to support standard e-paper displays. Now, let us look at the new software features. AirLab is always monitoring the air quality around you. We now store the last six hours of samples in memory for you to explore at any time. In precision mode, you can even look at the individual samples. Especially here, the touch bar comes in handy as it allows you to quickly scroll through. Measurements are stored as binary files by default, but there is no need for a separate conversion tool. We added the option to export measurements as CSV files directly on device from the file menu. Then, connect the AirLab to your computer, activate USB mode and open the drive. The export directory contains all the converted files. We will do a full walkthrough of the device and cover more features in the coming weeks. If you have specific topics we should cover, please let us know in the comment section. Back to Juan. We keep working on planning manufacturing, adding new software features, preparing the GitHub repository and the knowledge base on our website. Now, Let's talk about the AirLab Studio. The Studio is the web interface where you can access all the data from your AirLab. You can configure it and update it. Joel will tell us more about it. To access Studio, make sure your AirLab is plugged in. Then, visit the Studio in a Chrome-based browser, click Connect and select your device. The real-time data has now already been loaded from memory for you to explore. You can also access any stored measurements on the device. Under Settings, you can customize the AirLab's additional features. You can configure a Wi-Fi network and MQTT broker to have the AirLab transmit sensor readings in real time. This unlocks many interesting applications. It is also a great way to connect to other projects like the Home Assistant and integrate AirLab into your existing smart home setup. The AirLab Studio will be available once the first batch ships to our backers. Now, a last demo on connecting a particulate matter sensor to the AirLab. Here is a SEN55 particulate matter sensor. It measures particles below 1, 2.5, 4 and 10 microns. We can connect most of the pins directly to the AirLab and only need a small breadboard to split the ground connection and select the I2C protocol for communication. Then I modified the official firmware to detect the sensor and read out its data. With only a couple of changes I added a new sample dimension to the AirLab. We will show you how this is done in more detail on our website and in a future video on firmware development. Visit our Crowd Supply page and order your AirLab today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you soon.